Andrew Murray was, is a man that I have more books by Andrew Murray in my library than any other author. And Andrew Murray was a man who was very much to the deeper life what, what some other expert like Charles Spurgeon might be to, to preaching material. If you want to know anything about the deeper life, you read Andrew Murray books. Well, Andrew Murray was visited once by, a, well, in fact, a, the story comes to a, one of our Southern Baptist missionaries who spoke to a man who, as a younger man, was led to the Lord in conversation with Andrew Murray. And this man who shared this with the missionary was a much older man uh, by the time he shared it. And he told about how, when he went over to Murray's house to ask Murray to pray with him about a specific, specific issue, that uh, he went in there with Murray and he said Murray was just made to pray. That Murray's father had spent every Friday night in fasting and prayer, uh, praying for revival to come, and that Murray had picked up that habit himself and that revival did come in Murray's day. But Murray, when he met with this man, this man asked him to pray about this issue. It was, it was later on into the evening. And he said, again, Murray was just made to pray. He just naturally knelt, and this man said that he was you know, kind of having to fix his pants and just to get down on the, the floor, but Murray just kind of just went naturally into it. And he said as they began to pray that there was this long period of silence. And then Murray spoke out and said, Oh, Father. And then there was a long period of silence again. And then suddenly Murray began to just pour out issue after issue after issue. And this man said that they spent... Uh, what seemed like a very little time in prayer, but suddenly there was a knock at the door. The knock at the door said, Mr. Murray, Mr. Murray, are you going to eat breakfast this morning? You're late for breakfast. Are you going to be coming this morning? Should we save it for you? They had spent the balance of the night in prayer and not even noticed that it had gone by so quickly. You know, that is a prayer life. That is a prayer life that I think the Apostle Paul would have had as well. Prayer is to be as natural to our spiritual life as breathing is to our physical life. That's why Paul could say that we are to be unceasing in prayer. 